is the River Orwell. We're looking down towards Shotley. Right in the distance there, I can see the old naval base of Ganji. like this for a couple of weeks now but it's uh, been a long time in coming this is the river all looking very calm there's probably some wind that you can hear in the microphone this is a seawall rather than a footpath here and what this protects is this inland piece of water which is called Loom Pit Lake at Trimley's at all times of the year. Usually there's a lot of swans on here but I haven't seen one this morning. But directly over there where the camera is pointing now there are some trees that look dead. That is a roost for cormorants. I've counted 78 over there. I know there's more than that. And there's also a roost for a little egret and I believe there's anything up to 45 that roost here at night time. There's an overflying jet that is probably going into either Stansted or Luton. Um, I've never seen so much algae on this lake before. And it must be this very hot weather that has uh, created this. But uh, right in the middle of the lake here, I did spot uh, a female duck with five or six young. I can't quite make out what they are. They might be little grebe. Um, there might be something else. I can't. There's, there's several coot out there as well that have got young. But, uh, this is really a lovely day today. Really smashing. Sort of a, a warming wind coming in from the east, just down off the coast. Just pan round once more. That is uh, the Suffolk Yacht Harbour at Levington. Get a lot of visitors from overseas come into here as well. And again, the River Orwell. This travels down right from. And it goes all the way down 10 to 12 miles to Ipswich Port usually see some small shipping on here with containers and wood like cargo etc but there's nothing today this is really a beautiful scene down onto the beach here. It's only a foreshore, part of the river estuary. It's it very busy in the weekends in the summer months. People have barbecues and things. It's very stony and shingly beach but there are some stretches of sand as well. But very peaceful. Uh, again, there's a Suffolk Yacht Harbour at Levington. And a cormorant coming in over there, just above the yacht. Doing circuits and bumps, I think. For the next meal. has just recently been done up, well certainly since our last visit about six weeks ago. Just get very eroded by the high tides. Lots of shells on the beach here. A cabin crews are going down or up river I should say. Going out, 
ships are all facing, all the little vessels or yachts all facing up river, which indicates the tide is going out. Yacht there under its own power. There. Under some sort of engine power. There's a, a swan there with some with some signets. I don't know whether that's the a, a daddy of them that came in a short while ago. We also have some beautiful woodland at Levington. Lots of bluebells here in the springtime and snowdrops. The marina over there. I'm going to have a look around that in a minute. They always say there's no hills in Suffolk. That's proven wrong. Again, this is a Suffolk Yacht Harbour at Levington. Some very nice yachts parked here, moored here I should say, and lots of them too. Lots of masts down there. And you can see that just the other side of the wall is a river all. This is This is uh, one of those marinas that is not uh, controlled by locks or lock gates. It can be accessed at any time by one entrance, whether the tide is high or low. Just down there, beyond the cars a bit, the red structure, that is the, the old lightship, which worked out of Harwich. used to be a restaurant but I think it's some sort of yachting headquarters or something now. But uh, very beautiful. Can't stay out here much longer because it's so hot now. But uh, see Felixstowe docks well in the distance there. And just to the right of the last crane on the right there's a church at uh, Harwich. And then just panning round slightly and looking towards Shotley and the mast at Ganges. And then sort of looking up river again. Very nice. 